Hi, I'm going to make it easy for you to understand how our editor works for emailing. This preset format has four columns and four rules, as you can see. So in total we have 16 boxes, which further have cells. These yellow, green, and blue small boxes you see are called as cells. So there are three cells in a box and four boxes in a row. The editor, as you see, now in this video would almost be same at all the web browser you may use. We have tested in the latest versions of Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Internet Explorer. Let's try to demonstrate by inserting an image in one of these cells. Let's click on the box or location you, where you want to insert the picture and then click this big blue button called image. This dialog box gives us further the options to insert from a URL, get from the library. Library is where you have already uploaded the images to. Means the images that you upload automatically go into this library. Upload now. This is where you click or drop the pictures from your computer to the hard drive of our server. Recent shows the recent pictures that you used, as the name says. Let's go on by start on by clicking on the upload now. So I click here and I select one of the images, let's say this one. So it's uploading onto our server. Once it's done, I click on it and I can see the preview. I can define the size that I would like to fit into my box, let's say 200. It automatically adjusts the height according to the width you just selected. Insert image. All right, here's the image. We just insert it using the program. We can also adjust its size by clicking on the edges and click and drag the way we usually do in Microsoft Word and other softwares. This was for inserting an image using the big blue button here. The next button you see here is a preview button. What it does is actually it shows you how your final email is going to look eventually after you're done composing the email. So you can always see the preview button and the next button here is the send which of course is used to send emails to the selected recipients in the previous page and now the most interesting feature using the vanishing boxes template our vanishing box template provides you with the ability to create virtually unlimited layouts for your email message eliminating the need to dig through hundreds and thousands of fixed templates you should have a fixed layout in mind before you start Additionally, you should have the images you intend to use resized and stored in a file folder that can be easily accessed by you. You can use any image editing software like Photoshop, PhotoPaint, or download a free one from blue5.pair.com slash pixresizer. Here is a link we have given for pixresizer. You can always click this link and download the software pixresizer. That's a free software. When you download the zip, it contains a setup.exe file that you need to double click and install the software at your computer. First, we try to make one box by merging these three yellow, green and blue cells of a box. We simply click and drag select while the mouse button is down and then we click on delete row by right clicking the mouse. Let's do it again. I simply click and drag and select these three cells of the box and then I right click I go to row and here it is delete row when I click this all the three rows of the box become one all the three cells become one big white square box to demonstrate again I'm gonna select the three cells of the second box like this and then I leave the mouse button and then I right click it again I go to row and delete row so again, it becomes another white square box. We do the same for the third and the fourth box like this. Right click, row, delete row. Similarly, we do it for the fourth box on the first row. Row and delete row. That easy. So this gives us four empty boxes in the top row of our vanishing boxes template. We scroll back again here. Now let us try to follow a template, a mail template that I have already created earlier using a picture, which is this one. 
If you see closely, this actually has four roles. First is the logo. Second is the text written our summer collection. Third is the pictures. And fourth is also the pictures. But this picture is a taller one and it needs to merge two rows in the same column. Let us try to make this one. So we already have the first row empty. Let us first merge these four cells of the top row into one. What do we do for that? Click the left button of your mouse. Keep clicking. Let it be selected. Select it. Select it. And then right click. Go to cell this time. This is, these are four cells. Because these are cells of this big huge table. And we go to merge cells. That's it. This becomes a one huge bigger cell bigger box that is overriding four cells four columns of the bigger table and now we need to insert our logo at this row so we can either click the big huge image button here or we can go to insert and insert image it's the same link upload now click a drop here's the logo once done, I'm going to say insert image. And that brings my logo at the right place at the top row where we wanted it to be. And going back to our template, the second row is going to be the text of our summer collection. That's going to be the whole row. So we go back here and we follow the same steps the way we emptied our first row. We're going to empty the second row too so that we can utilize this for the uh, text of our summer collection. So I select the three cells, I go to row, delete row, same way select, right click, row, delete row, and same, 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 select, row, delete row, select, and right click, row, it's that easy, delete row. Four cells, merge cells, select those cells, right click, and cell, merge cells. Another empty row. And we're going to write here our summer collection. So let's do that. Our summer collection. This is what we want. Uh, let's decorate our font a bit. Make the font size bigger. Let's say 36 pixel. Font family to be Comic Sans. We can select the preset font families from here. These are the standard web fonts that work on every browser. It's a bit bigger, so let's try to make it a bit smaller. Our summer collection, I select 24 point. That suits well. So that makes our first two rows complete. And for the following next two rows, let's just quickly insert pictures. We first delete the cells like this, delete row. And same way, delete row. We don't want this as of now. Delete row. Select and delete row. That's the way you go. Vanishing boxes. And let's empty all of these. So that will give us eight boxes on row three and row four. All right. So that gives us eight boxes, empty boxes, for which we need to insert the pictures into. So let's start. Insert image. Upload new. Pick up any of these. Let's say this one. Open. Select it. Oh, this is a big size. Let's make it around 2180. In width, let's see how it looks like. Oh, wonderful! Same way I go here. The same instead of insert an image, I'm gonna click on the big blue button. It's the same thing, it's just a shortcut. Upload now, click and drop some other picture. Let's say this one. Open. One eighty again. Insert image. And we also want a bit text, so we'll write uh, a masterpiece product. <laughs> you can write anything you want, it's just for demonstration. We 
can select and make it center aligned okay alignment is here left aligned center you know that you know this is the standard you have Microsoft Word and your mail browsers and everything so let's put our third fourth and the remaining images quickly I select the box where I want to insert it I go up I click on image upload uh, now click let's say this one Load it, select, preview comes up, image 180 in width. See, I'm putting 180 width in pixels because I already know my box is that small. If your box is bigger, you can estimate how big it's going to be. You can just do that accordingly. Or you can simply insert the image and you can later on click and drag from the edges and adjust the sizes. For example, you click and you can drag and fit up the sizes accordingly. You can also align images in a cell. If you select that image, like this and then central line it's that easy all right if you remember from our target picture the fourth column the fourth column of the picture is going to be a tall one it's going to combine two rows in the fourth column so we do that first we're going to select this both cells these two cells by just clicking and dragging keep clicking and dragging your mouse and you can do everything right click cell more cells. That's it. You see? And now insert the picture to make it more better clear to you. Go to image. Uh, upload now. Click and draw. Here's the image. The tall image. Open. We select and here it is. Same way. 180. Let's see. Oh, here it is. You see? How good it's looking. This is how we wanted it. Let's put our smaller pictures, these three. Let's fill them up. Image, upload now, click down. Let's say this one. Uploaded. Let's make the width 180 to fit better. Okay, here it comes, the next one. <coughs> upload now, click and drop. That's this one. We've not used this one earlier. So this one again 180. Insert image and the last image. We select the last cell. We need to define the area where we want the want to insert the picture, you see. This is what I do. I click here, I go to image, upload now, click a drop. So let's say this one. Alright. 180 the height is adjusted automatically because here we have checked it force original aspect ratio so you don't need to worry about that all right so here it is let's see how it looks in the preview wow isn't it same like what we were to make in my picture earlier it's exactly the same so my editor lets me draw anything I want you can keep on experimenting this way with this grid and get the format you want to work with. You know, there can be endless opportunities, there can be endless options, endless things that you can do. And lastly, if you don't want anything and want to start from the scratch, simply click anywhere and press Ctrl plus A. Ctrl plus A or we also call it select all at anywhere in the editor area like this and simply press the delete button in your keyboard. You see, this gives us an empty canvas to do whatever we want again. So, this is how you can do. And next step, last step, if I just click undo, so this is all of my template that we done. And then you can just simply send using this button and you're ready to go. All right.